hi guys so we are in the series of uh, uh, RavenDB tutorial so RavenDB normally uh, we know uh, that uh, this is a, a open source document database uh, for a dotnet so this will be saved like a, a document so if you have never worked with the document database before it's the simplest way to think about it and imagine it that there is a serialization object uh, that we are storing in the uh, column uh, with some ID so that is what all about here so it will store the set of uh, serialization object uh, JSON object and with some ID if we are saving in a SQL database and retrieving the data so that is the same concept that a uh, document uh, database uh, is providing so document database uh, RavenDB uh, works with uh, very uh, scalability and they provide a uh, very concurrency dependency injection oriented and they are dealing with a uh, lot of uh, features so here so this is the sample example okay uh, so uh, uh, see uh, how to declare the code in uh, .NET so I explained it clearly here okay so this example you can uh, go, go through it uh, in the site go freelancers tutorials to the uh, blog spot that I will share you in the description you just go and uh, take the demo link okay uh, so no issue with uh, uh, with us so I will uh, just uh, flip the studio so I want to show you the demo from uh, my site so how it's uh, really working so I just to go on the add this uh, snip code in my index control I uh, in default my index I just to going to insert some the records and uh, into the Raven DB okay before that mm, I need to be installed you get package for the Raven DB server so that I need to be installed then I will get all the related DLL for the Raven DB okay just copy this just follow my stuffs okay you get package package manager console okay just paste that okay it's uh, tried to gather the dependency and it's injecting me all the object so meanwhile we just go and check so what is actually this simple example I am telling you so uh, I just go and initialize the document store what is the document store contain actually document store contain my Raven DB hosted URL so this is my local host and the port number is 8080 dot initialize uh, once this is initialized then I am just uh, e initializing the session variable document store open session so I just uh, make the open session in the, the why I am using the using symbol that you know uh, it's uh, disposable so I just use the using so I am just storing the two uh, data company 1 and company 2 uh, okay so with the uh, model company okay alright and uh, and saving the changes and I am in the same loop I am just returning all the uh, company waiting for non stateless uh, result to the array and I am just looping all the company's data so that is what uh, here it's happen okay so I will go and try the same installing okay still it's yes uh, successfully installed in my system <sighs> okay fine go on the initialize okay
this is my document store Okay, my server got installed uh, standalone, but I need to add uh, some DLL uh, that uh, provide uh, us uh, some contains. okay so I'll try to install uh, some other uh, package actually I tried before uh, server now I'll try uh, to install the client okay uh, I hope uh, this will contain all the DLLs that's what we uh, needed for uh, so okay uh, it's got successfully installed and uh, uh, it's uh, before previous session 3.5 RC but my server which I am using is uh, 3 so it's installed 3 hope so this time it will work okay see uh, you got uh, my uh, dogma store DLL so this is a time uh, to initiate all the stuffs okay my server hosted name is localhost and the port number is 8080 dot initialize this is something uh, weird does not contain the construction that take a uh, two arguments maybe default uh, it's got created so we'll check it out uh, this uh, in a session then using session equal to document store dot open up the session there is no such a company I generate a new class okay company model I generated uh, so what I am doing a uh, session dot store the store will uh, add the value in the Raven DB and it will uh, save the record and then I uh, will query again where dot all companies okay I just want to fetch all my companies session query so which type company 
and document uh, type is company dot Let's be query like a company. I'll just uh, keep the breakpoint here. We'll go and run it. my page is getting loaded uh, okay everything is seems to be correct we'll check one drop uh, I think it is no because we didn't check set the uh, default uh, path and uh, the server path plus the database obviously it will going to throw error now so we'll check what how it is throwing exactly the error so it will it's going to throw an error see document store url cannot be empty so it asking for that document store url is can be empty it means our server path we didn't mention that is what it's uh, showing so no issue with that uh, we'll go and uh, give the url path and everything okay url my what is my url uh, my raven db so this is my local host i just to take a uh, url of this th my niece uh, oh, sorry copy this control copy paste it over here comma then default database my default database is this that is a go freelancer db copy this just add it here okay fine Okay, I will initiate like this document dot do the initialization. Okay, uh, so uh, I just uh, closed my uh, installation, so I need to add a uh, end of all my stuffs. So this is uh, how it will going to work. 
okay uh, what I did now uh, I just uh, add uh, my connection string that is what uh, the URL default uh, and I started with initialized and open the session and adding the session and saving and writing the session and finally it will uh, going to uh, dispose all my activity that is what all about here so now uh, hopes this time it will work I'll run this page again okay my breakpoint hit it okay my uh, store got uh, added my connection string and it's initialized and session opened yes my record is added yes I'm retrieving my all my companies again wow uh, I got my companies uh, what I added here I retrieve back with the queries so uh, my data is successfully added so we'll go and uh, check in our server so we'll uh, refresh uh, the page okay I have one uh, companies under the companies I have the record of this if we go and see your uh, all the object uh, details will be here yeah so you can able to see the data so this is my uh, company one so company it's generated an ID and this stored uh, my JSON format of data so this is the way uh, guys uh, to initialize uh, store and create the session and add the session and the retrieve the session we will go uh, deep in the next session how to achieve all the things in a separate videos thanks for watching the video guys please uh, stay tuned by subscribing our channel